Software defined everything. In a software defined everything environment, the computing infrastructure are virtualized and delivered as a service, and many aspects, like storage, data center infrastructure, control over networking, etc., are automated by intelligent software, rather than by the hardware components of the infrastructure. Key functional aspects like deploying, provisioning, configuration, and operation of the entire infrastructure is abstracted from hardware, and implemented through software. Automated by software means, hardware configuration, is maintained through intelligent software systems. Every low-level infrastructure component, in a data center can be provisioned, operated, and managed through an API. Definition by Technopedia, provides a better understanding of SDE, as they quote the term, software defined anything is a movement towards promoting, a greater role for software systems, in controlling different kinds of hardware, more specifically, making software more in command, of multi-piece hardware systems, and allowing software control, for a greater range of devices. SDE is the border term in IT, that incorporates mainly three software-defined aspects, software-defined networking, SDN, software-defined storage, SDS, and software-defined data center, SDDC. Software-defined networking SDN, involves in moving networking functions like providing security, routing, and switching, from networking hardware, to software-based model. Here the control is decoupled from hardware, and given to a software application called, a controller. SDN can act, as a bridge between traditional networking equipment, and applications that enables, and supports the new network or cloud services. In short, SDN abstracts network architecture, to make network devices programmable, allowing the administrator to quickly respond to changing business requirements. Software-defined networking, engage in separating the data plane from the control plane, provides a single view, and thereby allow to configure the entire network. It can also facilitate, granular traffic control, and offers the ability to program through interfaces. Benefits of software-defined networking Through a centralized management console, changes can be made in real time to networking equipment. Through SDN, it can overcome the hassle of switching operating system, by allowing networks to work on a standardized software environment, or operating system. Network also becomes a development platform, that creates a market for innovative software function, such as security, traffic engineering, multi-tenancy management, and network monitoring. Commoditize networking equipment to a server model, which has lower pricing, support, marketing, and sales cost. Software-defined storage Software-defined storage, SDS, creates storage resources in a virtualized network, by decoupling the control, and management software from the core hardware infrastructure. This can be used to create storage networks, that can secure together large groups of storage resources, and can emerge as one virtual entity. Software-defined storage models, instill such an approach, where it is managed, and automated by smart software, instead of the storage hardware itself. SDS, abstracts typically stored functions, such as RAID, volume management, data management, replication, snapshots from storage hardware, and shift these functions to a software controlled functionality, which can be loaded on any commodity server, and placed anywhere in the network. It provides flexibility in configuring, and can take down the hardware cost, 
by replacing similar hardware platforms. According to Storage Network Industries Association, SNIA, Software Defined Storage, is more than a storage virtualization, in following ways, storage virtualization, provides a capacity pool, that can be structured into tiers, and presented over an appropriate medium, and protocol. SNIA insists, that software defined storage, must include, automation, simplified management that reduces, the cost of maintaining the storage infrastructure, standard interfaces, APIs for the management, provisioning, and maintenance of storage devices, and services. Virtualized data path. Block, file, and object interfaces, that support applications written to these interfaces. Scalability. Seamless ability to scale, the storage infrastructure without disruption to the specified availability, or performance. Transparency. Facilitate the storage consumers, to monitor, and manage their own storage consumption, against available resources and costs. Software Defined Data Center An analytics-driven approach, in balancing the resources of an application program, required in a virtual, and cloud computing environments. In simple terms, a software defined data center, is an IT facility where the elements of the infrastructure, like servers, networking, storage, and security are virtualized, and delivered as a service. Benefits of Software Defined Data Center Resources are deployed automatically from pools, speeding the time to application rollout, and providing an unprecedented degree of flexibility in the data center architecture. Minimizes IT spending The Software Defined Data Center makes use of commodity X8 hardware, cutting capital spending. Reduces day-to-day -day maintenance expenses compared to proprietary solutions. Functions are performed by software running on Commodity x86 servers. <music> Benefits of software-defined technology. Flexible. New applications, features, and services can be upgraded to all these technologies using software updates. The hardware becomes a development platform, that creates a market for innovative software, and applications. Interoperability. Functions become more easily adaptable, reconfigurable, and multifunctional in terms of protocols, and radio frequencies. One does not have to buy new hardware, since you can upgrade the software, and firmware. Development. It has faster development cycles, lower investment costs, and through simple trial and error approach, potential applications can be developed. Common software platform architecture allows new products, and application to be developed rapidly. Software can also be reused across products, and devices which reduces development cost. Reliability Software is inherently more reliable than hardware. Bugs, and security vulnerabilities can be fixed via patches and updates. Cost IT departments can buy heterogeneous storage hardware, choosing whatever is best value, in terms of price, reliability, or any other criterion, then buy and use the software, that provides the features they need. Programmability quality attributes can be programmed, and coded, to meet the needs of the platform, and product. Most quality attributes, should be possible to add in hardware products. <music>